Dear students, now we are going to discuss Earth eclipse of satellite in detail. In general, eclipse means blocking of sunlight partially or totally. So in satellite communication, during the equinoxes, the earth blocks the sunlight from reaching the satellite. That is called as earth eclipse. Okay. So here geostationary satellites are widely affected by the earth eclipse once each day. So we can have a diagram here. So from this we can understand the concept very clearly. So whenever the satellite falls behind the earth at the same time the sun the equatorial plane of the earth and the geostationary orbital plane all are aligned together we can get eclipse region that means the earth is blocking the sun rays from reaching the satellite you all understand this one so whenever the satellites fall behind the earth okay at the same time the sun equatorial plane of the earth geostationary plane all are aligned okay so this is what eclipse region so during the equinox period equinox means what so when the sun crosses the equatorial plane of the earth that is equinox period okay at that time we can have equal length of daytime and night time do you all understand what is mean by equinox okay so here we can consider the earth station is pointing towards the sun so at the time a satellite east of the earth station enters the eclipse region during the daylight and also early evening hours that is busy hours so if a satellite is present to the west of earth station what will happen so a satellite west of earth station enters the eclipse during night and early morning hours that is non busy hours you all understand this one so here this is the region where the satellite enters into the earth shadow so whenever the satellite is present in the eclipse region there is no solar energy as we all know that the satellite is working based on the solar energy during the eclipse period the solar cells do not work so at the time the satellite can obtain the power from batteries okay so batteries are used to provide the required power for satellite operation so here earth eclipse occurs when the earth's equatorial plane is coincided with the geostationary orbital plane around the sun okay so equinox is the time when the day and night both are of equal length there are two equinoxes one is spring equinox the next one is autumn equinox so during the equinoxes when the sun crosses the equator the satellite enters into the shadow of earth at certain period that is known as eclipse period so here eclipses begin 23 days before equinox and end 23 days after equinox okay do you all understand this concept so at that same time if the equatorial plane of earth okay so equatorial plane of earth is tilted okay it's tilted at an angle 23.4 so if it is tilted with an angle 23.4 to this elliptical plane then we can keep the satellite in clear view with respect to sun do you all understand this concept as we discussed a satellite east of earth station enters the eclipse during busy hours satellite west of earth station enters the eclipse during non busy hours that is during night and early morning hours okay so during an eclipse the solar cells do not work at the time the power must be supplied from batteries okay so in general eclipses begin 23 days before equinox and end 23 days after equinox so here eclipse last for minimum 10 minutes maximum 72 minutes so as i told you if the equatorial plane of the earth is tilted okay if it is tilted 23.4 degree with respect to this geo stationary orbit then the satellite is available in clear view